because the weight's a little bit lower. It's got a farther distance to travel. Here's the only left-hander in the club, pulling back his bow, ready to fire. Nice. And he misses. He's gonna stab me with his arrow. It's a typical American phenomenon where all the members have a final time. It's the morning and you will be catching the the potato. The potato did it. Operator, give me room 321. Buddy. Hello, Toby Lutkin. This here is the Luster's Potate. I said it's the Luster's Potate. But then the water goes king came. Coy, that blame it, this here's Buck. Coy, why ain't you to parade? Get that big Harley up there in your room. Ooh, that was pretty good. I can't hear you, Coy. Quit revving it up, boy. Turn it off. I just want you to know one thing. You have embarrassed us all. The whole Hey Holla delegation. Now I'll see you at the bank, son. And you be there, Coy. You hear me? Black tie, 7 o'clock. Be there, Coy. And Coy, don't answer the phone, nothing, nothing. <laughs> All arranged by the ladies auxiliary in the downtown convention hall. Cold roast beef, string beans, mashed potatoes, and nine boring speeches and all. And all the tables look fine with the milk and date wine and chrysanthemums on each side. And the hay hire leaders in their inner tuxedos made the local heart swell with pride. It's a typical American phenomenon where all the members have a fine old time. It's the 43rd annual convention of the Grand Mystic Royal. Operator, 321, please. Thank you. Hello, Coy, what are you doing? What do you mean, who is this? This is Bubba. Why wasn't you at the banquet? What do you mean all you had to wear was a high warrior flowered shirt?